Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and good morning to the members. I thought it was only appropriate that we take a couple moments before we leave here today to do a shout out to all the students at the Penn State University campuses across this great commonwealth. I think it's remarkable the effort that they put forth in behalf of THON. As you know, this is the largest student-run uh, fundraiser in all the world, and I think it speaks volumes. Uh, we've heard people who don't totally understand about THON. It is not just about trying to hear, hit a numerical amount of money to be raised. Uh, this is about a spirit, what Penn State and these young students stand for. It's about reaching out, providing hope and love and care to people they don't even know. And it's about adopting some of these young people that are battling some of the toughest battles on our, our uh, continent. And that is the battle of cancer. And it has amazed me, there's a young lady named Bridget Lavelle who wrote an editorial, which I'm gonna send around to you in our local paper. And she talks about getting to know this young patient who's in its four or five years old and the infancy of her own career at Penn State as a fresh woman. And she continues to follow this student throughout her college career. She's now a senior. And this young lady continues to battle her cancer and unfortunately is losing the battle. But Bridget talks about how much this young lady changed her life. And I would tell you, if you have an opportunity to go to Hershey Medical Center or any of the other great medical facilities here in Pennsylvania, which we are very blessed with, these children are inspiration. These children, and I often have joked with some of my friends, you know, I used to worry about my hair thinning until I watched my daughter lose her own. She never complained, she combed what was there. You watch these young people are just glad to see that nurse, see that person that's gonna hook them up on an IV because they've become their surrogate family. Mr. Speaker, I won't uh, keep things going too long, but I did just want to say, I think it's important that we recognize the student population all across every single campus that participates to raise, again, over $13 million. That is not a small feat. And if you look over the history of the last 10 years, thank you. And to those of you that were able to participate, to attend, to cheer them on, to pray for them, and to donate. You know, I understand the economy's tough, and I understand that people are struggling where to make their choices in their spending, but Pennsylvanians have stepped to the plate. These young students, 17, 18, 19, 20 years old, have also stepped up to the plate, and I think it's important that we recognize their efforts. 708 dancers spent 46 hours dancing, singing, playing games with these young people, but more importantly, helping these young families to escape for 48 hours from some of the challenges that they have. Mr. Speaker, on behalf of all the students, on behalf of our patients and their families, I want to thank our General Assembly, who's always been very supportive, and thank you for your time.